Ladies and gentlemen, here's a simple how-to video for you. Uh, today we're talking about priming an electronic oil pump on Polaris snowmobiles. Um, it's not like the old sleds where you'd throw a drill on the, the old McCooney mechanical pump and spin her up until you know you got all the air out and you're good to go. Uh, when you look in the Polaris service manuals on these, it's slightly unclear. Um, if you're gonna do something on your own, say you're you're not anywhere near a dealer. A lot of us live a long ways away, and maybe you don't want to wait for the power up cable. Uh, Polaris will sell you a cable to fire up all the electronics, get done what you need to, but lots of times we won't need that, and maybe it's not available to you. So here's a way to save a few bucks. Polaris will tell you that you need to fire up our DC power, which you can see I have my ground to. Let me fall in the back. They tell you you also need to fire your ACM power, which is, in this case, I will show you, is not required. Um, I always get a little nervous about firing up any sort of computer, like in this case an ECM, could be a body control module, uh, even your power valve solenoid. You're better off leaving the factory electronics to power that up anytime that's possible. So I figured I'd try it and it does work. So we got simple ground. You go to your brown wire on your DC power hookup. And I got just a random old wire here. I have the right player's power up cable, but I just want to show you that this is perfectly acceptable, works great. Also, something to show you, it's a little nerve wracking the first time, but it is fine. Especially because we're not powering up a computer. When you put your power side on, you're gonna get an arc. I'm gonna use my finger to push this in. But now we are live. If you have the gauge cluster and everything on, uh, your headlights will power up. You'll hear a click when it comes on but we're totally in the clear right now. So just to show you, we got blue, purple for power, coming straight up only to the DC power plug, which is our red for the positive, brown for negative, which we're using the white wire today. Right there, here's the booster pack I'm using. It is fully charged. Um, now all you have to do We've even tried it with our cutoff switch off. It does not matter. Now what I'm gonna do, which may be difficult with one hand to show, is we have our brake locked. You can see our park brake switch is up. Now we're gonna go full throttle here. Let's see if I can do this with one finger. We're gonna push the reverse button. It's gonna take about 10 seconds and you'll hear the oil pump. is and it quits now to repeat the process all you need to do press your press your reverse switch while holding the throttle wide open even with the switch off you can see i didn't hit it that's how you can prime your oil pump up uh, if you're gonna summarize it you're going to ready store it for the summer. You can run that two, three times, start it for a few seconds. You're going to make a smoky, nasty mess, and you're good to go. Um, if you are rebuilding an engine and repriming the system, you're going to want to watch for any air bubbles in the line. Polaris says any air bubbles less than one inch long inside of the injection lines is okay. I personally would... Uh, Keep priming it through. You're gonna to wanna to start it every four or five times you prime it just so you can avoid any hydro locking issues. Uh, that, that would ruin any efforts you've just done because now you need a $2,000 crankshaft. And yeah, we're gonna avoid that. But fire it up every few times, um, especially if you have a little bit of mixed oil inside your tank, you have no issue running it for a couple minutes up to temp. Uh, you'll get some heat cycling done on top of that. And personally, I would prime it 
every time you run the sled for the first two, three tanks of gas. But main point of this video, just to show you, this is all we need for power. And one person in about five minutes of spare time can prime that oil pump. Switch can be off, cluster can be out. You can prime these pumps. Um, when you're talking about a five, $6,000 engine, you're way better off putting another dollar worth of oil into the engine and knowing you're gonna be good to go. We'll see you next time, thanks.